really the most important things about being a barista are, you know, providing great customer service uh, and keeping the place clean. I think when people think about, you know, just over and over pouring lattes with beautiful latte art, they tend to forget that you have to also sweep the floor and do all the dishes. And just sort of being willing to do whatever it takes to like get the shop open, get the shop running, you know. Sometimes the espresso machine craps out at the end of a shift and you have to go in and fix it until two in the morning and it sucks, but you need the espresso machine to be working by the next morning. So I actually had a friend uh, named Ashley who always used to say that she wanted to call me Coffee Shop Ron uh, because I'm a, I'm a pretty outgoing guy. So eventually I actually got a job at the coffee shop and I knew nothing about coffee at this time. Uh, I, drank, I drank a ton of coffee, but I drank it with a huge amount of cream and sugar um, and knew nothing about like anything about specialty coffee or what even black coffee tasted like really. So I got there and I started learning slowly about coffee and you know was working really hard. I got made full time within a couple of weeks and then about three months after that I became the manager. It was probably the first time that anyone had given me more responsibility than I was hired with in about 10 years. Uh, so that felt pretty good. At one point I found an old barista magazine uh, subscription under the counter and you know people had drawn like little handlebar mustaches on the people on the covers and stuff and uh, I just took it home and I started reading it and realized that there was a whole world of people who were into coffee in a way that I had never even considered that you could be into coffee and it fascinated me. Three back and forths. I'm doing back and forth because if you stir in a, you know, round clockwise motion, it's gonna keep those grounds moving a lot. And at this point, we just wanna make sure that everything's steeping right. So we got about 45 seconds left. And then we're looking for a nice dome-shaped thing, uh, thing of grinds. That's when you know that you got a nice even extraction. If it's totally flat, not great. Uh, so we're looking for the dome and we got it. So I grew up in a really small town called Petersburg, New York. Uh, as I was telling someone earlier, we don't have a stoplight, we don't have a sidewalk, and we have one pizza place. As I was growing up, I did a lot of um, hiking, fishing, stuff like that, playing outside. I quickly grew to hate it. At 14, I joined a punk band and started teaching snowboarding and felt you know, further different from everyone at my high school. Lived in Albany for about the past 12 years. Did some traveling when I was like 19. I you know, kind of squatter punk traveled around the Northeast, uh, hitchhiked and slept under bridges and all that kind of stuff. I got really heavily involved in drugs and alcohol during that time and that stuck through when I moved back to Albany. When I was 23, I got sober. Right after I got sober is when I started getting into coffee. People say find a job that you love and you'll never work a day in your life and it is not true. Um, it's not true. I love making coffee. I love uh, making coffee for people who maybe haven't learned about a lot about it and like seeing the lights come on and having that like aha moment uh, when they taste something they really love. That, that feeling does not matter when it's one in the morning and you're elbow deep in an espresso machine and you can't figure out what's wrong with it. Um, or when you've worked, you know, 17 days in a row and it's nine o'clock and you're sweeping the floor and you're wondering why you're doing this, thinking I'm a great barista, it's nine o'clock in the, you know, nine o'clock at night and I'm sweeping the floor and I'm not making any money doing it. You know, um, you're, you're working without a doubt, no matter how much you love kind of the, the general subject matter, you're working, but it's that passion for, you know, doing something for yourself and doing something that you believe in that makes you slog through all those moments to have the moments where they, you know, you do get the aha, aha moments or, you know, see the lights come on in someone for the first time. Um, and those make it worth it.